So my question is to um, no one in particular, but everybody in general, as to to what extent does uh, emotion uh, play the role of, of a fuel in um, taking and implementing business decisions? Mr. Kamath. Mr. Kamath. Yeah, I, I think it's a very good uh, question. See, emotion as a positive trigger, I think, is always welcome, and you need to. Uh, you know, get that high from that emotion. But at the same time, you need to be able to control uh, the whole emotional exercise. Uh, I will actually turn the question around and answer it in a different way. I think given all that is happening around uh, us at all times, that is emotional stability. By that I meant under stress, under extreme stress, how does the person actually stand up? And I think Sadhguru touched upon it in his own nice way uh, in several, uh, different, at several different points, equanimity. And that's what, you know, is part of what he's teaching uh, gets you. But in most real situations, you will find that a person cracks under uh, that sort of stress. How do you maintain uh, uh, emotional integrity, emotional stability? I think was something that we actually went about doing a 360, went about doing a 720 to understand who stacked up how. And that became a very important part of our own looking at uh, the process. So to me, emotion is a, a key underplayed uh, uh, attribute and we need to uh, probably bring it up the table along with all the other attributes that we look at in the CEOs. I mean, as he rightly pointed out, but uh, being equanimous, unfortunately, a lot of times is understood by people as becoming em uh, being emotionless. Emotion is a large part of a human being. Whether your emotions are working for you or against you is the question. <laughs> if you know how to make your emotions work for you, emotion uh, has a very big role in doing anything that we do. Because emotion is something which will allow you if you have a certain emotion towards something. It will allow you a natural focus of the mind, you don't have to strive. If you, it is like you've fallen in love with somebody, nobody has to tell you, you must think about them. You can't help thinking about it. So, emotion, I would take it one step further and devotion towards something that you're doing. If you're devoted, absolutely devoted to what you're doing, you don't have to try to think up things. It's just that your whole system is working for that all the time. So devotion is another dimension of intelligence. People think devotion is only in the temple. No, devotion is not at all about the temple. A temple may inspire devotion in a lot of people, but devotion means you hit your emotion towards something. After that, you don't have to bother how to get there, it'll just anyway get you there. There's a beautiful story in the yogic lore. An old yogi who was over ninety years of age, as he's been going to… on the pilgrimage to Kedar every year for the last sixty-five years, over ninety years he went. People saw him walking, obviously he looked very frail. People said, do you understand this is a mountain, you have to walk up the mountain, you think you can make it? He smiled and said, I already hitched my heart there. It's only the remaining part of the body which has to get there, it will get there anyway. So emotion and devotion has this capability. If you hit your emotions onto something and leave it, the rest of you anyway will go there. <laughs>